weren't that impressed with his first movie, he wasn't your favorite Avenger. Now, get ready for the sequel that made everyone say, holy sh**, who knew Captain America kicked so much ass? Captain America, the Winter Soldier. The Captain is back, and he didn't skip leg day. Thrill as he ditches his lame Avenger suit for a cool new one, and shows off the full range of his vaguely defined superpowers, like super gymnastics, super throwing, super catching, and super jumping out of stuff. Is he wearing a parachute? When he's not kicking ass or taking names, follow Cap as he spends his free time freaking out kids at museums, hanging with his gilf, and catching up on the last 60 years of pop culture. I'll put it on the list. Man, Star Wars must have blown his mind. When Hydra returns, Cap needs to take him out by forming a team he can trust, including Black Widow, a sneaky double agent who he really shouldn't trust, and Falcon, a random guy he met on the street. Sam Wilson. Steve Rogers. Watch as Cap and two non-superheroes end up actually kicking a lot of ass together in a really entertaining, well-directed movie. What? We have to be honest. It's good. But since Honest Trailers is a comedy series, get ready for nitpicking. Prepare for the shocking revelation that Hydra has been secretly growing inside of S.H.I.E.L.D. all along, despite the fact that the previous Marvel movies really didn't do anything to set that up. And get ready to try to ignore questions like, when did Nick Fury stop wearing the bulletproof vest that saved his life in the Avengers? Why didn't Tony Stark find out about Hydra when he decrypted all of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s files? In a few hours, I'll know every dirty secret S.H.I.E.L.D. has ever tried to hide. How did an agency that employs thousands of people hide the fact that half of its agents were members of a secret Nazi death cult for over 60 years? If S.H.I.E.L.D. had their hands on the Tesseract for so long, why didn't Hydra just use that to take over the world? That was the Red Skull's plan in the first place, right? And he was the OG Hydra. And if Nick Fury was such a threat, why didn't Hydra try to kill him before he saved Tony Stark's life, thought out their greatest enemy, and assembled a team of superheroes that would almost certainly stop any evil plans they had for the future. See, we told you it'd be nitpicking. So sit back and enjoy the best standalone Marvel movie since Iron Man, full of awesome action, awesome cameos, and one awesome twist they run into the ground, where Bucky turns out to still be alive, and Dr. Zola turns out to still be alive, and Nick Fury turns out to still be alive. And Crossbone turns out to... Okay, no one ever really dies in this movie. Still great, though. Starring American Austin Powers, Mad-Eye Moody, Unfrozen Caveman Soldier, Lucy, Falcon Punch, Robert Red Toyota, and Hail Hard Drive. Captain America, he's cool now. So, Cap bets the safety of the free world on two people not wanting to buy gum? Not a great plan. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Nanu Nanu. Oh, Captain, my Captain. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Good morning, Vietnam. Carpe diem. Seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary.